How does Xamarin work? I have mentioned how Xamarin allows you to build for Android, iOS, and even other platforms if you wish to support them with one single code base, and that it creates entirely native applications on top of that. So how does Xamarin achieve this? Well, this has been a work of years. I remember a lot of years ago, well, maybe six years ago when Xamarin was starting out, that it was a bit rough in the edges, like it allowed you to do these things that you, it allows you to do now, but there were a lot of bugs and there weren't all very good integrations with some of the platforms that were out there. Maybe a new version of Android was out, a new version of iOS, and there were really some issues. However, Xamarin has really improved in recent years. And what it does is grab this single code base that is created on C Sharp and SAML and compile it for it to eventually be Java code that runs on Android and Objective-C code that runs on iOS. So this is truly very efficient code that runs entirely native in each platform. And the same for Windows if you want to support Windows. So basically what Xamarin does is that it grabs this code that you create on C Sharp and SAML and the entire library is going to compile this down into native code. So it runs as if it were a native application because it actually is a native application. I'll give you a quick example that you're going to take a look at in the coming section when we start defining elements. If in summary forms you define a button that is just called button, when Xamarin builds the application for it to be ran on Android, what it does is that it turns this button into an Android button, an actual widget that will run on Android that the Android ecosystem has always used, the same kind of button that you would define if you were developing entirely native Android applications. And this same button that you define on Xamarin Forms when compiled to run on iOS, it will be translated into a UI button, a button entirely native for iOS, the one, the same one that you would create if you were developing on Xcode. So this is eventually what Xamarin does with your code, which means that you end up with an entirely native application, which of course translates into the application being more efficient and having better access to resources and just working so much better than alternatives. I would say that 99% as good as an entirely native application. Now, of course, there are still some rough edges here and there, barely noticeable. Really, you start to notice them only when you start making crazy things with your application. Overall, Xamarin is a great tool for you to learn and that will easily allow you to deploy your applications for both Android and iOS without spending a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of resources into it.